Good day everyone, the Global Panda is here and in this video I would like to talk about the difference between having and not having a premium account in War Thunder. We'll look at two different battles with similar achievements where the biggest difference will be the ownership of a premium account. However, there will be a lot of other differences that will make this research a less accurate such as the battle time, the amount of hits that the enemy has taken, the battle activity and the amount of hits which I have taken. However, we'll try to conclude which would sound the most fitting. As you can see, the War Thunder game is heavily based on grinding aspect, where the player needs to spend months researching and buying vehicles to gain better ones. It takes a few months to get to the top of the tier in a specific nation, as there are 9 nations at the current time, each one of them having air and ground vehicles, and some of them also having naval vehicles and even helicopters. This also means that having a premium account wouldn't have been a bad idea, especially when Gungeon Entertainment is releasing a lot of discounts at certain times of the year, and we can get a couple of events during the year where we can actually earn Gungeon coins by selling assets which we obtain during the event on the marketplace. Trust me, you can make a fortune of this. The price for the premium account isn't that high, even comparing to the time which we spent playing the game and other prices on the marketplace, such as vehicle bundles which can cost up to 80 euros per vehicle. It is quite insane to be honest. The current cost of the premium account right now is 40 euros for 180 days, 20 euros for 60 days and 7.5 euros for 20 days. You can also gain a premium account by buying it with golden eagles, however I do not recommend it as it will be very likely it will cost you more. You can always keep the Golden Eagles for premium vehicles that can help you out during the grind for the vehicles that you want to obtain. In the first battle, which I went to without having a premium account, I have gotten into a heavy dogfight where I had to quickly scope out the enemy aircraft. Overall, the battle didn't last too long, which means that my profit from the battle would not be as high as it would if it lasted longer. The battle time lasted for 51 seconds, which is usually normal if you get into a quick battle against an enemy opponent, since it is all about making quick decisions and a very short amount of time. Due to the short amount of time, I have only gained 4,455 silver lions. Since I have also won the battle, I have also gained a small bonus of RP and a silver lion percentage, which is also good as it allows me to grind vehicles faster as well. I have also received points for destroying enemy aircraft and causing critical and normal hits. All the damage which I have dealt has been added to my score at the Silver Lions, which I have obtained. Due to the fact that I have won the battle, I have also received a massive bonus of research points, which is 2,078 research points and 5,668 Silver Lions as a bonus. Overall, in this non-premium battle, I have obtained 14,166 Silver Lions and 2,042 Research Points. I'm honestly not happy with the amount of Silver Lions which I have received, as it points out that the game must be heavily grinded to achieve some kind of new vehicle. One of the good things about it though, is that the game developers have announced that there will be changes to the Research Points that the players need to get due to the new players wanting to play newer vehicles basically. Another battle which I have taken part in has the similar outcomes where I have also shot down one enemy aircraft and my team has won the battle. The biggest difference in this battle was I used the premium account which I did not use in the previous one. There was also a few tiny other differences such as the fact that instead of killing the enemy vehicle with my cannons, I have destroyed it with a missile. On the report it also says that I have caused 2 hits instead of 3 and the battle time was 42 seconds instead of 51 as it was in the previous battle. However, I believe that the statistics will not make that much of a difference as the total amount of silver lines which I have earned is 21,938, which is a lot higher than the amount of silver lions I have earned in the previous battle. When it comes to the research points, it also seems like they have been doubled since in the previous battle I have gained 2,044 research points and in this one I have earned 4,946 
which is almost a double of what I have earned in the previous battle. Overall, as you can see, the premium account has a massive impact on the profits that are being earned in the game in each battle, meaning that it will take you twice less to grind the vehicles that you want. This is very good as instead of having to do 1000 missions in a certain vehicle, all you need to do is about like 500, which will save up a lot of time overall. That was a joke, because you're still gonna spend about your lifetime to actually do it. If you have enjoyed this video, please slap a like button and if you'd like to find out more about the other stuff, please tell me in the comment section down below. I'll check these all the time. The Global Panda, signing out.